we need to prove that the function mod z square is continuous everywhere but nowhere differentiable except at origin. So we have to show that function is everywhere continuous but it is differentiable only at the origin, right? Okay. Let's recall some of the necessary conditions for the differentiability. First one is fz is differentiable at z0 implies partial derivatives of u and v exist at z0. So you can take this fz to be as u plus iota v and for fz to be differentiable, this partial derivatives of u and v must exist at z0. Second, the function satisfies the CR equations, right? Okay. And second, if partial derivatives of u and v exist, but f does not satisfy CR equations, then function is not differentiable, right? So for function to be differentiable, this function should also satisfy the CR equations with the first condition. Now for a function to be continuous at a point z0, for that it must be defined at z0, limit must exist at z0, and third, f of z0 should be equal to limit z tends to z0 f of z, right? Okay, so we have to check this for function to be continuous, right? Okay, what is given to us? fz is equal to mod of z square, and fz is written as u plus iota v is equal to Okay, z is x plus iota y mod square. So this is equal to, what is the mod of x plus iota y this is? Yes, x square plus y square under the root and then having the square that is equal to x square plus y square. And let me also add because it is not having the imaginary part, so I'm adding iota zero. So u is taken to be as, when you compare these two, the real parts and the imaginary parts, so the u is x square plus y square, and v is 0. Suppose this is the domain of fz. Let's take one point in this domain, and let me name this as a, and we have to check the continuity of the function at this point, right? And this a is belonging to the complex number. So, for the continuity, we know that we have to show this third result. So, limit z tends to a f of z. Let's find this first. This limit z tends to a. What is fz? This is mod of z square. And that is equal to, putting z equal to a over here, I get mod of a square, right? a is belonging to the complex number. And what is f of a? Again, from here. It is mod of a square. So these two are equal, right? So limit, we have shown that limit z tends to a f of z is equal to f of a, which means this function is continuous at a in this domain. And because a is arbitrary, so this function is continuous at all the points in this domain. Hence, fz is continuous for all z. Now for the differentiability of fz, let again this be a domain of f and suppose this is the point z in this domain and this f is differentiable at this point z if u and v are also differentiable at this point. Second, function must satisfy the CR equations, cauchy raman equations, right? Now we know that u is x square plus y square and v is equal to 0 and because the derivatives of these two functions exist in this domain for all the points hence these both are differentiable for all the values of x y right so it is differentiable everywhere in this domain and for the cr equations we must first find all these so curly u over curly x is 2x curly u over curly y is 2y curly v over curly x is 0 and curly v over curly y is also 0 and CR equations are now if you notice here that curly u over curly x is 2x curly v over curly y is 0 and here curly u over curly y is 2y 
and curly v over curly x is again 0. So you have noticed here that CR equations are not satisfying, right? Which means the function is not differentiable at any point, right? Now the question arises, at which point these CR equations then satisfied? So these equations are only satisfied at, just put the values of these. So this is 2x equal to 0 from first equation and 2y is equal to 0 from the second equation. So this implies x equal to 0 and y equal to 0. So we conclude that CR equations are satisfied only at one point that is x equal to 0 and y equal to 0. So at this point CR equations are satisfied which means function is differentiable only at the origin. So therefore, fz is only differentiable at origin and nowhere elsewhere. Also, let's check the derivative of the function at the origin. That is equal to limit z tends to 0 f of z minus f of 0 over z minus 0. So this is limit z tends to 0 x square plus y square minus this is 0 over x plus iota y that is equal to limit z tends to 0 x square plus y square over x plus iota y. So let z tends to 0 along y equal to let's say mx, right? This straight line. You can choose any y but I am choosing here mx, right? So putting y equal to mx over here we get all the expression in x and now the limit becomes x tends to 0. So this is limit x tends to 0 x square plus y square is m square x square over x plus iota y. So this is mx. So taking x square common from the numerator and taking x common from the denominator. So 1x will go and limit x tends to 0. This will give us 0. So therefore, derivative of fz at origin is 0. Hence, we have shown that the function mod z square is continuous everywhere but nowhere differentiable except at origin. Alright, thank you.